Camel cargo and shells in Wells Fargo. Laughing, waiting to go cash these withdrawals. My chick bad with What up, YouTube? This your boy down low back with another reply. But before then, this week's show is brought to you by my DVD, The Music Industry Traps. And this is where I'm giving good information to rappers, producers, and engineers on the traps they need to avoid in order to remain relevant in the music industry. You can preview all three parts of this DVD at downloadpads.com. But today's show is on Bottle, Slime Flu 3. And you know what? I like Bottle. Bottle is a damn good little cool rapper. But the things I don't like about this mixtape is pretty much the same things I haven't really liked about him throughout his entire career so far. Like, I mean, he's pretty inconsistent. Like, my favorite songs off this mixtape is that my team go, What You Like, off High Haters. But yet, for every hot song like these, he'll give you a bad bitches. And then he got a bunch of tracks, man, that had damn good lyrics, but yet the production wasn't up to par and it ruined the track. Like the song with Fred the Godson. They spitting on that. But the beat is really just some simple generic shit that New York dudes are known for dropping these days. And it's a damn shame in this day and age because production is damn good across the board, man. It's hard to not find a good producer online these days. But most of these dudes want to run to like a rap music and I'm not dissing a rap because he's good at times, but then there's other times where his music isn't that good too. See, dudes like Votto, man, need to research and find some good producers because they're out there. And odds are there's some that are fans of his that will give him beats for the fucking low. It's really just people being too damn lazy to up the production value up. Or to go through hundreds of bad beats to find that one producer that they really do fuck with. Now, overall, this mixtape was a good listen, man. I definitely do recommend people to go ahead and check it out, especially for the lyrical value to it. As far as a download, that's on you and your personal preferences. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com. And today's article is about the sympathy game. And this is some game that rappers like to run on people, man. They try to make people feel bad for them in order for them to be a part of their fan base. Let me keep it 100 with these guys. No one feels sorry for you that you rap. You chose this path. No one said it was going to be fucking easy. No one said your fame is going to come across fast. Nobody said you were even going to fucking make it. Trying to make people feel sorry for you instead of getting them to like your fucking music, that is a big fucking mistake. Quit with the sympathy game and work hard to get better at your craft and push your shit using fucking promotional plans. Nobody's going to hold your hand through this shit. 